Golden State is 3-1 to the over in their last four. Clippers 81% to the over in their games at the current posted total. So with all that in mind, I am going to purchase the half a point, and I don't care what you think about it. If you think it's dumb, get out. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, it probably isn't the smartest play, but uh, I'm superstitious, man. I got to do it. I got to buy the hook. I'm going to buy it up. Give me the Clippers plus 10 in the over 232.5 in that matchup there. All right, folks, before we move on, I just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the show. Once again, got some lines and personal leans out for Friday's NBA, NHL, and I was about to say college basketball, uh, Major League Baseball action. But before we get into that, first, happy Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Work sucks. I hate it. Uh, donate a lot of money to me on Patreon so I don't have to do this shit no more. No, I'm totally kidding. I have a great job and... I'm not a charlatan. You don't just have to give me money for no reason. Uh, I'm completely content with you watching this free YouTube programming right now. But anyway, shameless plug coming up here after the shout outs. I got some shout outs. I'm going to shout some people out, say hello, uh, some very loyal listeners, loyal viewers on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get into it. Danny J, Daniel Mulligan, Justin DeLeon, C. Dinger. Uh, Geo Mag Axis, uh, Aris Garazas, SMC Justin, Stephen Lewis, Brian Natty, Oliver Walker, The U Dog, Ulysses Hayes, Underrated 77, Straight to the Point, and my man, last but not least, who do you think it is? That's right, Jerome Jerry Watkins, my guy. Those are the shout outs. Check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page. That is my website. We do daily picks there, and we have different packages and memberships you can subscribe to. It all starts out at just $1.99 per month, and then it builds up from there. So great content there. Uh, you get more Brock Page, just not in video form, but more text form. And like I said, 4-0-2 in our last six NBA plays. So you definitely want to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page. Link is in the description section below. And let's... Just have enough of that shameless promotion and get into some more free content because that's what we're here for. Let's go ahead and dive into some NHL. And actually, if you take a look, we're at uh, first intermission there with the Bruins up one nothing against CBJ. But we're taking a look at Friday's action and we're going to begin with the Hurricanes taking on the Islanders. 7 o'clock Eastern puck drop in Long Island. The Islanders open the betting as the $1.55 favorite with a total at 5.5. And since those markets opened this one up, not a whole lot of movement on the total, although we did see a 15 cent fade of the Islanders. They're down to minus 140. Once again, New York opened 155, down to minus 140. Total's five and a half. 51% are leaning toward New York, 52% shaded toward the over. Right now, Carolina's plus 120 on the money line. The Islanders, plus 200, laying the goal and a half, puck line. Mrazek for the Canes, Robbie Lehner for the Islanders. If you like New York at home here, you're in a great spot. Their first in goals allowed, 12th in shots. Uh, their defense is giving up just 2.3 goals per contest. They are 3-1 and one against Carolina this season. They're 6-21 when Robbie Lehner makes the start. They're winning 74% of their games as the official home favorite, and they're winning 77% of their games at the current market price. Now, on the other side, Carolina, not too shabby themselves, but not too good in, in these types of spots, okay? They've won just 11 out of 26 as the official road underdog. They're also winning just 43% of their games, taking on teams over 550. Carolina is also 17th in road scoring, and they're winning just 33% of their games at the current market price. Total-wise, Carolina, 3-1 to the under, taking on the Islanders. Meanwhile, New York is 79% to the under, taking on teams over 550. Give me the Islanders, minus 140, and the under. Five and a half goals in that matchup there. All right, next and final game for the show, we will be covering Major League Baseball uh, Friday morning, very early. So uh, we will get to that uh, on Friday morning. But anyway, next and final game for tonight, for Friday's action being recorded on Thursday night. It is going to be Colorado taking on the Sharks 10 o'clock 
Eastern puck drop in San Jose. What a comeback by uh, uh, San Jose uh, getting the job done uh, in that series against the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, San Jose opened the betting as the $1.45 favorite total at six. Two-way action both ways. We haven't seen any movement. San Jose remains minus 145 total at six. 57% of the consensus is leaning toward Colorado, who absolutely decimated the Flames in the first round, swept them. 74% uh, of the consensus is leaning toward the over in this matchup here. Colorado's plus a buck and a quarter on the money line. San Jose plus 210 on the puck line, laying the goal and a half. We have Grubauer for the Avalanche. Martin Jones for the Sharks. Now, if you like the Sharks in this spot here, once again, spirited series win against the Golden Knights. Uh, they're having very good success against Colorado. As a matter of fact, they're 3-0 against the Avalanche this season. They're also 6-15 when Jones makes the start in the net. San Jose is second in scoring, averaging 3.51 goals per contest. couple more things to note about San Jose. They're second in home shots allowed. Their opponents are shooting the puck just 27 times on net in San Jose. Impressive stat there. Not a whole lot of scoring chances and opportunities for their opponents on their home ice. Once again, San Jose, second in home shots allowed. Just 27 in that category there. They're also winning 62% of their games as the official home favorite. They're also winning 71% of their games, taking on teams between 450 and 550. Now, Colorado on the other side, they're no slouch, uh, but they've struggled in spots like, the, uh, like this uh, before, uh, especially considering their head-to-head -head matchups with San Jose. Once again, 0-3 straight up against the Sharks. They're winning just 42% of their games when catching plus money, and they're winning just 39% of their games at the current market price. Uh, a couple more things to add. Actually, just one more thing to add about Colorado. They're 26th in the NHL in road shots allowed. So, you know, San Jose, who's scoring a ton, really could uh, have a, uh, a heyday here. Um, wouldn't be surprised if maybe they put that puck in uh, five or more times. But anyway, scoring-wise, Colorado 3-0 to the over, taking on San Jose. 61% to the over on the road when the line was six or higher. San Jose, 63% to the over at home. 6-2 and two to the over in their last eight. I got to lean toward the Sharks at home here. Give me San Jose minus 145 in the over. Six goals in that matchup there. Just a quick recap in the NHL. We have uh, Carolina at the Islanders. I took the Islanders minus 140 in the under five and a half. And then Colorado at San Jose. I like the Sharks minus 145 in the over six in that one. And of course, our lone NBA playoff game for Friday night. Golden State taking on those very gritty L.A. Clippers. I like L.A. plus 10 after buying the half a point in the over 232.5 in that matchup there. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I have to once again give myself another shameless plug and uh, remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash rockpage. Once again, guys, 4-0-2 in my last six NBA plays. I should get that like tattooed on myself. Maybe make a shirt, 4-0-2. What an impressive record. But anyway, that is at patreon.com slash rockpage. Link for that website is in the description section below. Uh, we do daily picks on that website. I share my uh, personal plays. And uh, there's several different tiers and memberships that you can join. Uh, it starts out at $1.99 per month. Very good price point there. So, uh, yeah, hit that pause button. Hop on over. Check me out, patreon.com. Slash Brock page. It only take you a couple of seconds. Once again, link is in the description section below. But most importantly, I want to thank you for watching this program right now. This free content right here on YouTube. I love YouTube. I love my commenters. I try to get back to each and every one of you. So uh, if you have something to say to me, let me know in the comment section below. I will see it. And chances are I will respond to it. Uh, so like I said, most importantly... Thank you for watching this program right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this free information and free content. And as always, don't forget to check me out 
at patreon.com slash brockpage.